Uh, my name is Mikael Johansson. I'm an artist living in Sweden and I've been here at the residency at AIT now for a bit more than two months and I have 10 days left of my stay here. And uh, my keyword is uh, between, uh, more particularly maybe the tension between dense and void and the spaces between buildings. And since I'm interested in density, Tokyo is a really inter interesting place for me to, to, to visit. Um, I will give you a short uh, background from what kind of work I do uh, in some images to get the idea. Uh, it's basically um, some kind of real life Tetris puzzle uh, where I use ordinary objects um, to create more or less cubic or squared shapes. And they sometimes take place in the public space. Um, and I've seen uh, quite many creative ways to store things after my arrival here uh, in, the, in, the, in the public areas, on the streets. Um, and um, that is something that I'm, I'm still very curious about. And as Tokyo is a very dense place, it's one of the high world's highest urban densities in the world. Uh, the open non-built space is only 6%. And this is kind of the image that you have from Tokyo's before coming here, that uh, there are people everywhere. And as you can see also from the uh, skyline or, or the, the, the view for, for, from Tokyo, you real realize that there are not so much open space left. And here's from Google Maps from a, from a bit far away. And if you go closer, y you start to see that actually the, the density have some gaps in between as well especially in between the buildings. And that's something I, I noticed after a while, while while walking on the street, that, that uh, if you compare with, with uh, other places in the world, uh, this is the, the like a typical um, view in, in Tokyo. But for if you, for example, compare with New York, um, the, 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 the houses are, are very narrow each other. And the same here in, in a typical uh, place in, in, like for in France. And I, I, I start to think about why, why the reason for, for this kind of architecture, wh where it came from. And I, I, uh, since architecture in Tokyo has uh, largely been shaped by Tokyo's recent history, the, the great Kanto earthquake in 23, and also the uh, great bombing from the uh, Second World War. So Tokyo's current urban la landscape is actually um, one of modern and, and, and contemporary architecture if you compare with two, two other large scale cities in the world. And uh, this also, uh, I guess, gave birth to this um, uh, idea for architecture that was called metabolism that spread in the, in, the, in, the, in the 60s. And that was based on the concept that buildings and cities should be designed and developed in the same continuous way as an as organ, organism is produced. So it should, it should uh, constant, constantly be able to, to, to change. And uh, it's also, I think, has been a lot of different regulations in connection to this. And since all these different uh, houses and buildings should be like a solid unit by themselves to, to withstand, for example, earthquakes, and there are many different ways to, 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 yeah, to, to build and to make them secure to, to, to withstand this this kind of things. And that's also something called Tempei Ritsu. Uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong, <laughs> but uh, this building coverage rate ratio that uh, uh, decided you can only use a certain percentage of, of per percentage of, of your land to, for example, maybe 80 or 90, it depends on the area, so which also leaves this kind of gaps in between the houses. And uh, but still, of course, people want to use as much as possible of the of the of the um, yeah of the land to, to make the most pro most profit of it as well. But it seems like maybe in recent years also the the government's loosening of regulations and the restrictions are opening up new new possibilities. And and one of them is like this, uh, this the the uh, fear of void metabolism, some which is kind of a reaction of this former idea, which uh, <coughs> instead of um, it's ins instead of focusing on of the void spaces that develops between the buildings to, to uh, um, yeah, and, and use it that as a starting point for, 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 for possible um, 
ideas. And the, the um, so it's it doesn't really evolve around the core, um, but around the void and the gap. And that's also in com in combination with like in in Tokyo, there's a very frequent the the, the buildings are rebuilt very fr frequently, uh, like in. Wooden houses, I think it's been uh, like uh, 20 years before they turn, uh, turn, uh, tear down and, and rebuild. And for concrete buildings, maybe 30 years. I think that the, the, uh, the uh, average lifespan is around 26 or 27 years. So that means that there are constantly different generations of buildings um, living next to each other and they, they keep changing the form. So and you can see that uh, no matter of the the the, the gaps, th uh, they can be sometimes just a few centimeters, but there's still always a gap in between the buildings. And that's also doesn't really um, depend on if they're the, the the size of the building. So it's the even the, the very tiny tiny buildings have still have these gaps in between. Which also, if you see from 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 the from inside or from where nearby. <coughs> of course, some 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 uh, places you can have the windows that they you can open up very tiny, uh, like briefly, and then get some air. But you can't really uh, enjoy the view. <laughs> and, and also, in some places they use these gaps to to store things, and like, like in this may be the most common thing to 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 store some trash while waiting for it to to be re removed. But to have like a r very uh, easy or uh, uh, basic image for if you have a few uh, buildings or, or bodies of, of some kind and you have the gaps between them all then if you mo would move them uh, close to each other then you of course would would have another space that you could fill with something and even though, though that's not really happening in this way uh, it's, it seems like there are different ideas now in Tokyo that trying to get use of this uh, left space the space in between that are still still around, and one of them are are, are Atile Bawao that also was uh, maybe the one of the main main minds behind this void metabolism that also have this project they call Pet Architecture that uh, use uh, these very small still existing uh, spaces within the, the the urban space to and instead of of, of thinking at in the strategy of, of, of like the, the uh, how to say it, um, the, the larger um, economy or, or, or li like the, 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 the focus on, on, the, on this particular owner or, or client or, or user's uh, needs and, 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 po and possibilities. So they, they look very different from, from time to time. And, and like here, the, <coughs> the, the space is, has some kind of, of, of um, yeah, um, how is it? There, there, there are some, um, some a few possible ways to continue with it, and they, they try to find that and, and, and make the best out of it. So they look can look very very different from time to time, and and some of them are they <coughs> instead of focusing on, on on making beautiful and and large scale buildings, they they some of them are cheaply built and not so partic uh, spectacular, but but. Uh, made from for from the person who lives. And that's also this is I don't think it's bow uh, at the bow wow that is a, that's a house that passed by yesterday. And of course sometimes these kind of gaps happens out in open space since they're due to regulations or, or, or other reasons there there are not so such a large piece of land that you can actually use. And you can actually kind of feel like it must be uh, pretty tight inside as well. And there's also other architects that are uh, doing similar things. This is uh, Ri Nishishava. Uh, this is a garden house. This is kind of a combined garden and, and, and a house. So in a way, kind of using a lot of greens and plants to combine this, this area that maybe uh, previously was used for as a garden to also uh, make a living space. And this is an uh, open architecture project by Yushiaki Oyaba. That's uh, also between 
a few buildings they they didn't have the possibility to, to create a playground for children so instead they created it in, in several levels i think in four different levels so people could act actually or uh, children could actually take use of the space that wasn't there in the beginning but there's also an art project that actually took place already to 2001 that i been looking into a bit uh, called the schema project that was uh, initiated by Ma Masato Nakamura uh, there was about 40 artists taking uh, taking part and schema is a schema uh, is uh, the more specifically means opening a crack and they took uh, took um, um, yeah it, the, the original idea was to use uh, these gaps uh, mostly between buildi buildings but not necessarily just between buildings but gaps in the in the urban space to 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 make more or less temporary art projects for a certain time and uh, i couldn't actually find so many images on the on the web page since it's it's quite a while ago but here you can see that there are this is the area from akabara and you can see that there are um, spread out through the uh, through the region i, I guess also that they <coughs> most of them were uh, things you just um, approach in your daily routine, which I is something I I wish I could have uh, been there to, to uh, experience myself. And uh, he also uh, Nakamura also thinks about this project as some he looks at Tokyo as some kind of um, uh, Tetris game, you know, where the the buildings are the blocks, and you should try to 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 um, stack them as tight as possible in the shortest amount of time as possible so in that sense it also feels uh, like a very inter interesting uh, way to think about the uh, urban living so this was what i had today but also i realized that there also if you are interested in, in this idea about temporary spaces within tokyo you can also uh, take a look at william andrews gorilla spaces who's i think he ha he's also um, talking about some of the same topics i also 